So you're looking to make your own custom multiboard tiles, and that is 100% possible, but you do need to be a supporter of multiboard to get access to the tile generator. And this video is gonna show you exactly how to use the tile generator from this point onwards. So first thing, you need to head over to blender.org. The tile generator is made inside of Blender, and Blender is completely free and open source, so by all means, you can go and get that real quickly. It just needs to be sure that it is Blender 4.0 and above. Download, install that, and then once you've done that, also then head over to the actual multiboard tile generator. As a supporter, you'll be able to download this model. So click download model, and then that's gonna actually give you a dot blend file, which you're just going to left click and that will open it up. It is a little bit of a complicated file, so it can take just a, a small moment to load up. But then once you have it loaded up, there it is. This is the tile generator. I tried to make it as simple, as quick as possible to get started with. So from here, let's just do a very quick rundown. So if you wanted to make a quick custom tile really quickly, and then I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. So. This is not a Blender tutorial, so to speak, because I have an entire free course of that over on YouTube. And if you want to basically accelerate your learning, I have a crash course as well for only, I think it's 10 bucks or something really cheap. Um, don't worry, there's lots of ways to learn this free and paid. They're all gonna be linked down in the description. So I'm gonna press seven on my numpad to take a look from the top down, because it makes it nice and easy to show you all. And we have this cutaway object right here. Let's say you don't want a hole in your tile. All you have to do is this here where it says cutaway geo, just click X so it's no longer active. If I want, I can also click by left clicking on that cutaway geometry. So let me just click it. I'll press G to grab it, to move it. And then I'm just gonna slide it off to the side like so. Now that I've done that, I can left click this once again. And now that I have the actual generator selected, down here, this little wrench, that's the modifier tab. Modifiers are super powerful. You can create your own modifiers and that's exactly what this is. This is a modifier generator of the multiboard and it's as simple as it looks like here. We can see how many cells wide we want it, how many cells high do we want it? Do we want the top right corner or not? Do we want the tap top left? top, bottom, bottom right, and bottom left, along with the other side. So if you want, you could turn these all off and make your own corner tile. You can turn these all on and create some crazy Frankenstein creation. Or you can turn off all the side ones so you can mount your board maybe through little holes on each side. There's a lot, a lot of options here. But of course, the first thing you're wanting to know is like, okay, let's say this is exactly what you're looking to create. Let's make this one, I don't know, eight in this direction, maybe not the, the bottom left and side. Let's just go with that right there. Let's go for the top side as well. There it is, top side. And now I wanna export that for 3D printing. How do I do that? It's actually really simple. The key thing is to select the multiboard. Once you've selected the multiboard, you're just gonna go over to File, then Export and click STL. Once you're in here, Find wherever it is that you're wanting to save it and make sure you click selection only. That's gonna make sure that it only selects the multiboard and exports just the multiboard and not the cube that I was using as a cutaway object as well. Then click export STL and as quick as that, you're done. Okay, now very quickly, let's just show that in the slicer. So here we are, I'm just gonna drag it in and as quick as that, this is now all set. Let's set this up to my recommended settings, which is that right there. And there you have it. That's your own custom multiboard tile made that quickly and easily. But what happens if you have a wall plug or something in the way, or you're wanting to do something in some strange angled design? Well, let's go and cover that right now. So here we have it, we're back in Blender. I'm going to now turn on this geo cutaway object. So I'm gonna click on this little, eyedropper and I'm going to go over to the cutaway cube and click it there and now I've reassigned it. Now because I've reassigned this, if I select it and press G and move it towards it, it's going to cut away. Now do be aware that this works on the centers of where the geometry is for the holes and the multi holes. So if I move all the way over here, you can see that the side ones there, because they're out of the centers, they're going to appear there. So just 
sort of be aware that that is what happened. So we can just cut out a nice little hole right here. If you really want, you can press S to scale and make this bigger, but things go a little bit strange in Blender when you do scaling. So what I would suggest is learn a little bit of Blender. I have an entire crash course and all of that down in the description. And what we're gonna actually do is I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode. So this is edit mode right now. I can go to any of these vertices and move them around. I'm gonna press three for face selection. I'm gonna select this face here on the side. I'm gonna press E to extrude, and I'm just gonna extrude that out. There we go. There's some crazy, strange, custom multi-board that I really wanted. Let's go and export that out. So I'm just gonna select it. I'm gonna go file, then export, STL, decide where it is I'm wanting to export that. Make sure it is selection only, export that STL. Let's quickly see it over in the slicer now, just to double check that everything is working out. Drag that into place and there you have it. That is how quick and easy it is to make your own custom multiboards with the multiboard tile generator. So there you have it. If you need anything else to do with the multiboard tile generator, by all means, let me know over in the Discord, or you can let me know in the comments of this video. There's a whole bunch of links down in the description. This is just sort of get you going to making your own custom tiles with the generator. There are so many more generators still planned to come. This is still early days, and I cannot wait to see what you're going to get creating. Thank you for watching, and keep making.